We all want to be as mobile as possible when it comes to working on the go and ideally wanting to try and carry as little as possible. What if to do all of that you would literally need to carry this? your Samsung smartphone. Because back in 2017, Samsung created their mobile desktop operating system, DeX, which allows the Samsung user to simply plug in their smartphone and create a almost desktop experience. And every year, it just seems to get better and better with each improvement that comes along every year. Samsung DeX is available for anyone using the Note series and the S series of devices as far back as the 8th generation, so like the Galaxy S8, that kind of stuff. So what I decided to do was to ditch um, my normal MacBook Pro and use Samsung DeX to carry out my day-to-day -day operations and tasks and see if I can really can work on the go just using this platform alone. Now, the only thing to get started with this, you will need one of these, a USB dongle or a USB-C to HDMI lead. There are a variety of different leads and ports that are available, but having something similar to this one where you can have a plug-in mouse or a plug-in external keyboard, external hard drive, the possibilities are endless. So I'm gonna show you what to do in order for you to operate with Samsung DeX. Now, all you need to do is simply connect the USB-C connection and the HDMI lead into the monitor and it'll create this almost familiar desktop experience that you know, all right? So all I would need to do with this is plug in into my Samsung at the bottom just there with the hub just at the bottom. And then using the HDMI leads that I've got going from the monitor, I would now connect all these into the hub, including on the desk I've got here, I've got a wired mouse and a wired keyboard. However, Samsung DeX does operate and you can use a wireless keyboard and mouse on it. So if you've got those even knocking around at home, they'll go with these. So for now, I've got wireless ones. So all I'm gonna do with my hub, I'm gonna plug in my HDMI. I'm gonna plug in my USB leads. And I've got a, I've got a USB-C power adapter as well because some monitors may need that extra additional power for them to drive uh, the whole Samsung DeX experience. Here it is, we've landed onto what is a very, very familiar kind of setup. So if you are very used to either the Chromebooks, for example, this looks very similar to that, or um, a MacBook or a um, Windows kind of setup, this is exactly how you're greeted. So let's take you through decks and go through the setup. So once the main screen has loaded up, you're presenting with this desktop look and feel, very uh, familiar to Windows. You've got all the supporting icons just at the bottom, just down here. Uh, you've got your little dex icon once you click on that this will allow you then to lock your screen if you're walking away from it or you do you know you do need to come away and there's sensitive information on there you can utilize that so the next icon is your apps icon you can see it's got all the little dots there and once you press that it takes you then through into your app drawer and here will be all the apps that you use on your device so you can find them straight away just there absolutely loads of them and they've also made it easier to try and locate them there is a search bar just at the top here all you would need to do is simply search for it so if i wanted to search for microsoft word for example just need to type word and then word is there and then to access your app drawer you don't just have to tap on the icon in the corner depending on what style of uh, keyboard you've got here i've got a macbook um, wired keyboard so all i would do for me is press the command key and it loads up the app drawer or if you're using a windows kind of style uh, keyboard all you would do is hit the windows key and it'll bring that app drawer there as well uh, moving on now remember it is just a mobile device so you're still going to have a lot of the same kind of features and benefits there so when you click on this one it will would take me then into the apps that have been open previously in the background there or if you want to show your screen you would hit the round one and that would take you to the home screen so they've still got really some familiar bits that you know um, with your device that you kind of generally used to so you've got those in the corner there moving over really quickly you've got your notifications and icons just there over this way, uh, you've got your battery percentage, if you're using data or Wi-Fi, all your other connection options like there, you can see there's Bluetooth. And then coming to the far side, on the far side of the right, uh, you've got Samsung uh, Labs, 
Uh, now, if you don't know what Samsung Labs is, as part of the Samsung DeX experience, a handful of apps have been optimized to work in a different way in a different manner to give you a more of a desktop experience. So what Samsung Labs does is tells the app, this is a desktop, let's make it into a desktop experience. A, there are only a small handful of apps that this is working for at the moment. Uh, so it may be something that when they roll it out even further into the year and more releases come out and more developers come on board, uh, the apps may become more of a desktop experience. But Samsung Labs is a great partnership in uh, the big package that is Samsung DeX, so it's always good to see. Uh, you've got your keyboard options here, so you can either use that or you can use your device as well, because if you haven't got a wired mouse or a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, you can just use your, um, your Samsung device as either a trackpad or a keyboard as well. So you can really utilize the best of both. Um, and then you can screen grab and then you've got the options there to control all your sound and volume. So whether you want the sound to come out of your device out or out of the monitor that you are currently using. So plenty of options all within the bottom menu there. So again, giving you that real desktop feel. So once you have all your apps open, you'll see them all just displayed like this. The only downside at two, or one of the only minor downsides operationally for uh, Samsung DeX is that you can only have five apps open at the same time. So in front of you on your display, you can only have five apps open. If I decided now to open a six app or a six program, it would then close the oldest app running in the background. So, right, I'm going to open Evernote. There we go. So there we go. Can't show more than five apps at once. So it's going to close the oldest app or it'll have it kind of closed in the background. And that'll be because it probably can't handle having that much operationally and that much kind of being live in front of you at any one time, which is still good because if you're in an office environment, you're doing, you know, bits of work and you've got things open everywhere, they, they are still there and it just limits kind of what screen space you have and what apps can be open at the same same time but for example if one of them older apps did decide to close and you wanted to go back to it all you would do just take your mouse click on your button just at the bottom here your recents button tap on that and just like your phone it will open it up and then you can just scroll down and find whichever one that you was using there so that's as simple as that and that's how easy it is so if you use web-based applications then Google Chrome has got you covered because here is all you need to do all right you would you open up your Google Chrome app like you normally would so I'm going to open up Google Chrome because I want to go on a website most websites will open up in mobile version so they will detect that it's coming from a, a mobile phone now there is a brilliant feature that Google Chrome have added in and all you would need to do is tap on the settings in just in the corner and as you scroll down you'll see where it'll say desktop site tick that and it will reload your page as a desktop site and this is ultimately one of the brilliant tools that just helps create this really good desktop feel and that's why I've really took to it this week having that I use programs like Office 365 uh, I use all the teams I use uh, Microsoft Word PowerPoint Excel all documents that are easily done and edited on here but then also really mobile as well and using this interface and this desktop feel experience makes it really easy to use so the question is would I replace my main laptop with Samsung DeX and the answer is yes I absolutely would using Samsung DeX really means that you can literally work on the go. You can start a document in DeX and then continue it on the move just using your Samsung device. It has all the features and all the tools that I need and require to work on the go. I can use all of the Microsoft suites to do um, all my documents, video conferencing and, and a lot more. Having the benefits of being able to connect your mouse, keyboard, monitor, even an external hard drive really does mean that it can replace my next laptop. In a world where our devices are smaller and faster, these things are more powerful than some of the laptops that are out there at the moment. But do you think you could swap uh, your laptop for Samsung DeX? Uh, if you own a Samsung device, why not give it a try and just see for yourself? Uh, if you do, let us know. Let us know what you think of the whole DeX experience by getting your comments in the box below. Uh, thank you, though, very much for joining us. And until next time, it's... Bye-bye for now.